Okay, number 10 is an inequality, and it's a rational inequality. What I would recommend to do is just get it compared to zero initially. So let's write that down. And it, it, you may say, I want to do a little different than this. You can. And that would be 1 over x minus 5. Again, the zero is the, um, what we call sacred cow because it's easy to compare it to. We're looking at this expression. We want to make it less than or equal to zero. i got to get one term, though. And I'll put this down for you. So it's going to be x plus 8 x minus 5, and yeah, you have to know how to do fractions. I just want to, you know, maybe do a little side work, and that would be, let's see, 2x minus 10, and then you get minus x minus 8, and I could certainly do that. You know, 2x minus x is going to be uh, x, and then minus 10 minus 8 is minus 18, all right? Put parentheses on that. What do I do now? I put a number line down. Let me use this line right over here, and I put the zeros down. The zero on the top occurs at 18. The zeros on the bottom occur at 5 and at minus 8. There's only one spot where this would actually equal zero, and that's at 18. At 5 and at minus 8, you'd have a division by zero, and you can't use that. You can't divide by zero. All right, I'm going to take a test point after 18, and I'm going to take 20. And if you plug that in, what do you get? You get plus, let me get my eraser out because I need a little more room. Actually, I'll just do it on the next page. This is 20. If I test it out, you get plus, plus, plus. It's going to be positive. So this whole interval up here is positive. That's certainly not less than zero, so I'm not going to shade that in. I'm going to go between 5 and 18 now, and I'm going to pick 10. What do you get on top? A negative number. Get positive, positive. Overall, it's negative. Now, negative numbers are less than zero, so I'm going to shade that in. I'm going to take a number between minus 8 and 5. I'm going to pick zero. You get negative on top, positive, negative. Overall, it's positive. Positive numbers are not less than zero. You are not going to shade that in. Let's take a number below minus 8. I don't know, like minus 10. Plug it in. You get negative on top. You get a negative times a negative, uh, what do you get, positive? Yeah, negative overall. Negative numbers are less than zero. I'm ready to write my intervals down. My interval is going to start at minus infinity. It's going to go up to minus 8. It is not going to touch that. Then it's going to start up at 5. It's not going to touch that. And it's going to stop at 18. I'm just looking at my graph to do that. Put a box in that, look at my answer key, and see if I can match that. And I matched it, and I'm done. Thank you.